Hello, this video will solve for the elasticity of substitution from a generally specified CES production function. So here we're going to solve for the CES production functions, elasticity of substitution. So in general form, the CES production function looks like this. K is units of capital and L is units of labor. The first thing we're going to do is get the marginal product of labor, the partial derivative of Q with respect to L. So this exponent over here, this minus 1 divided by beta, I'm bringing that down in front. And then I'll also subtract 1 from that exponent. And then the next step, we're going to take the derivative of what's in brackets here with respect to L. So I'm going to bring down this minus beta. So that's where this minus beta is coming from. And then minus beta minus 1. And everything else is unchanged. Can be simplified. You notice right here minus 1 over beta and minus beta. That'll just cancel. So I get rid of those beta terms now. And now the marginal product of capital. Taking the partial derivative of the production function with respect to k. Once again, we bring down this exponent here, this minus 1 divided by beta. That's out in front. We are going to subtract 1 from that exponent as well. So we have this part here. And then we're going to look in the brackets, and we're going to find the k term. and going to take the derivative of that. So we're going to bring down this minus beta in front here from the k exponent. Then we're going to subtract 1 from this k exponent. Once again, this minus 1 divided by beta and this minus beta will cancel. And we're left with the following. Moving on. Rewriting the marginal product of labor. Rewriting the marginal product of capital. And then writing the optimal input mix, which is the marginal product of labor divided by the marginal, pro marginal product of capital, will equal the ratio of the price of labor to the price of capital. So making your substitution for the marginal product of labor and the marginal product of capital in the denominator, we have the following. And everything in red here will cancel. So I'm just highlighting this above step here, uh, putting those things in red, and that all, will all cancel. They're identical, identical terms in the numerator and denominator. So after canceling those terms, we have this now on the left-hand side. And what we want to do is we want to solve for k divided by l. So I'm going to follow the rules of exponents here. I'm going to bring this l term down to the denominator, and I'm going to move this k term up into the numerator. So following the rules of exponents, the signs on the exponents will change here. And we're left with this result. And then the next step here, this 1 minus alpha divided by alpha, I'm just going to multiply through by its reciprocal. So moving that over to the right-hand side, we get this result. And as I said, I want to solve for k divided by l. So I am going to raise both sides to the 1 divided by beta plus 1. So raising both sides to 1 divided by beta plus 1, we get this simplification. The next step is we're going to define this letter V to equal K divided by L. So let V equal K divided by L. And then we're going to let Z equal W divided by R. So V just k divided by l just equals this right here. Okay? And notice w divided by r, I substitute that I substituted out z. Okay? So again, k divided by l becomes v, w divided by r becomes z. So we have this expression now. The elasticity of substitution is going to be given by this equation here. We're going to take the derivative of the v equation with respect to z, 
and then we're going to multiply it by z divided by v. So we'll do that on the next slide. So here again is our v equation. And here again is how we're going to define the elasticity of substitution. So we're going to first take the derivative of the v equation with respect to z. So this 1 divided by beta plus 1 comes down in front. And then all we have to do is subtract 1 from that exponent here. And we're done. So the elasticity of substitution, sigma, is this derivative result that we just found. And then it's z divided by v, which I have over here. One thing you'll note here is that this z and this z over here, uh, this plus 1 and this minus 1 will cancel. Okay, so we got z raised to the 1 divided by beta plus 1 minus 1, then we got z raised to the plus 1. That's just going to cancel. So I just have 1 here now, and then this 1 plus beta plus 1, there's no longer minus 1 there. So this z and minus 1 here are going to cancel. All right, the next step, recall what v is, as I have over here. Here's v, so recall what v is, and substitute it into this expression, this above expression. So making that substitution for v, you'll notice that in the denominator, uh, we have a like term in the numerator, and that's just going to cancel. So this and this will cancel. And you'll get the elasticity of substitution equal to 1 divided by beta plus 1. If beta is greater than minus 1 but less than 0, the elasticity of substitution will exceed 1. If beta is greater than 0 but less than infinity, elasticity of substitution will be less than 1. And if beta equals 0, the elasticity of substitution will exactly equal 1. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.